I told you, all personalities in the field of great influence are initiated members of Freemasonry. Otherwise, they wouldn't be there. Within 60 seconds of me telling you what international Freemasonry really is, I'll prove it to you. Unequivocally, within 60 seconds. And then I'm going to drive it home, and then I'm going to show you what they're planning with this new age they're implementing, and then the conclusion, which is by far the most important part of this presentation. So when you hear me tell you the truth in just a moment, don't switch off in disbelief because you can't believe that your favorite idol or whoever could possibly be involved, like you know them or something. You don't know these people. You do know that they're under oath never to reveal their beliefs to you. The vile multitude. It's time to trust your eyes now, not your feelings, especially after all that I've shown you. This is why the secret religion is so hidden. This is why it's so ingeniously designed through layers of lies upon lies, cloak upon cloak, and oath upon oath, concealing the truth for its chosen few. What is Freemasonry? What is the most secret yet most powerful religion in the world? Well, that's easy. We live in an evil, evil world. So there's only one religion that befits it. Freemasonry is Satanism in disguise. Now start the clock. From morals and dogma, prepared for the Supreme Council for 33rd degree. That's the highest degree in Freemasonry and written by the undisputed heavyweight champion of modern Freemasonry, Albert Pike. On page 321, he boldly states, Lucifer, the light bearer, strange and mysterious name to give to the spirit of darkness. Lucifer, son of the morning, is it he who bears the light? Doubt it not. Did you hear that? Lucifer is God, and do not doubt it. Come on now, stay with me. Hear from the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry, written by 33rd degree Freemason, a beloved member of the craft, Albert Mackey. He tells us whose name represents the good principle in Freemasonry's secret worldview, writing under the Masonic meaning of the word pentagram. He says that the pentagram, depending on its position, represents good or evil. See how he puts the positive aspect in the first position? Good first, evil second. Good or evil, light or darkness, victory or death, initiation or profanation, Lucifer or Vespa. Lucifer is good. Lucifer is light. Lucifer is victory, and Lucifer is true initiation. See, if you're not initiated, you're profane. If you haven't figured out that God is Lucifer, you're vulgar and profane. You're stupid, in their own words. That's the beginning of their big secret. God is the devil, and we're already in hell right now. Now from the Freemason of the Century, Manly Hall, and this will make it three out of three legends of Freemasonry stating the same thing. In The Lost Keys of Freemasonry on page 76, when the Mason learns that the key to the warrior on the block is the proper application of the dynamo of living power, he has learned the mystery of his craft. The seething, surging energies of Lucifer are in his hands. Do you see? The world's hidden religion with its universal one-eye symbolism, who was revealed slowly and by degrees only to its dedicated members, is Satanism, or Luciferianism as they prefer to call it. Now all the oaths make sense, don't they? Now all the rituals make sense. Now all the penalties make sense. And their secret signs and symbols and handshakes all make sense. While the bulk of Freemasons make the external image of the fraternity and know nothing of who rules over them and who or what they're protecting. But which craft do you think the Freemason of the century is talking about here? Which craft? Which craft? Which craft? Which craft? You need to slowly 
wake up now. Witchcraft is the royal art of Freemasonry, jealously guarded and reserved for the few. I'll show you clear as day that this is in fact, is in fact true. This is the symbol of Satanism. And this is the symbol of the Lodge of Female Freemasonry called the Order of the Eastern Star. Look at that. Satanism, Freemasonry. Trust your eyes. This is the symbol of the Church of Lucifer founded by a 33rd degree Freemason, which I'll prove. Look at the Masonic square and compass in the design. The Church of Satan and Lucifer. Two sides of the same coin, nurtured and brought to an organized international level of power and influence by Freemasonry, in secret, and all done right under our noses. And if you think that your politicians or religious leaders or favorite idols can't be a part of this, you have to try and snap out of it or suspend your everyday beliefs just for a moment. And I will clearly show you how it's not only possible, but it's actual. Please, I feel like it's now or never. If you don't get a glimpse of this now, then when? Who else is going to tell you this? When will you next be confronted with this? This is reality. And as much as you thought that ordinary people came into positions of power through hard work or concern for society or family connections combined with brains and talent, that's not the case. That's the fantasy. This is the reality. They all go through Freemasonry. You think that Sam Worthington was so talented that he was picked over all those American actors to star in Avatar? Of course not. He was a Freemason. And so was the director, James Cameron, of the highest caliber. You have to remember that to them, Lucifer is good. Lucifer is the liberator. Jesus is the suppressor. Lucifer is pure love. Jesus is impure love. Lucifer left heaven for you. Jesus was crucified because he was a false messiah. The world has always been deceptive and we have been magnificently deceived. Here is an incredible example. Pay attention. This should blow your mind. Charles Darwin, the father of atheism and rationalism, was an initiated Freemason. Doing the hidden hand of Freemasonry in this picture. And the vow of silence in this one. This would have re remained unknown to us because no one's going to teach us this. But now we have the tools to see his beliefs, not through his words, but through his signs and symbols. I told you, they can't help but to show off their religions. Because they think we're stupid, vile and ignorant. And I've proven that to you as well. So once again, are you going to prove them right by switching off and ignoring this? Well, unfortunately, more than 90% of you will. What I'm giving you here is priceless knowledge because no amount of money or success can substitute its importance. And I'm risking everything, everything but my own salvation to share it with you. If only for the, for the few of you. Think about what you've just seen here with Charles Darwin because I don't know if you got it. You cannot be accepted as a candidate of Freemasonry unless you believe in a supreme being as exemplified here with Phil Collins, speculated by some to be an atheist, but this seems impossible because being a Freemason, he has to believe in a higher power, or more accurately, supreme being. And I can personally vouch for that. And look here in the Masonic Oath itself. The candidate says, I will not aid or be present at the initiation of an atheist, a madman, or a fool. Freemasonry believes that to be an atheist is to be the equivalent of a madman. And they're right. Yet while they propagate atheism around the world, in universities and schools, Charles Darwin himself was a believer in an intelligent designer, a supreme being. He had to be because he's a Freemason. And that intelligent designer that gave birth to us is named Lucifer in the highest degrees of Freemasonry. See? Never tell. He lied to you because that's what Freemasons do. The whole thing is a giant lie that was carefully constructed by mutilating the truth because mutilated truths make the most successful lies. This is the secret to their success, a lying tongue and a lying spirit from the first degree to the 33rd degree to each other 
and to us. I've proven that as well. And what did Jesus, how did he, how did he describe their God? The father of lies. How accurate. The one who comes to cheat, kill and destroy. How accurate again when I tell you their plans. Look here. Charles Darwin is noted as an influential figure by the satanic temple. And proof for them, apart from the intelligent design that is all around us, that Lucifer is real and that he's the god of this realm, is the power of witchcraft or magic. Magic works because there's a hierarchy or a pyramidal power structure in the spirit realm, a realm devoid of any love for you. And these spirits can be conjured up and summoned by the practitioners of the royal art of Freemasonry. They ask for something in return, however. Listen to Bob Dylan, a Freemason. Hidden hand, one-eye symbolism. Out here doing these songs, you know, you're still on tour. I do, but I don't take it for granted. Why do you still do it? Why are you still out here? Well, it goes back to the destiny thing. You know, I made a bargain with it, you know, a long time ago, and I'm holding up my hand. What was your bargain? To get where uh, I am now. Sh should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth? <laughs> and on this earth and in, uh, and in a world we can't see. How does one communicate with Bob Dylan's chief commander, Lucifer? By the jealously guarded Royal Art of Freemasonry. Witchcraft. This is from the Encyclopedia of American Religions. Secrecy is bolstered by a system of initiations and degrees. The Freemasonic system. The material which is kept secret is the magical knowledge of the group. This knowledge may consist of rituals and powerful magical formulas. Do you think J.K. Rowling is an Luciferian? In this article, J.K. Rowling reveals the inspiration behind the Deathly Hallow symbol. And what is it? The Masonic Squaring Compass, with the one eye that are all the celebrities mimic. That's the inspiration. They're all members of the secret society. If you think that doesn't prove anything, here she is with her new tattoo. It says Solve Coagula. Also a song titled by fellow Freemason Marilyn Manson. And where does it come from? Here, the Baphomet. The image of Lucifer as conceptualized by another Freemason, Eliphas Levi, in his book, The Doctrine of Transcendental Magic. This horrid thing, with breasts, a penis, and a goat's head with two horns has these words written on its arms, Solve Coagula. The impact of the meaning of these two words should disturb you to soberness when I tell you about them. Because apart from other things, they involve the process in which the new system will be implemented at unbelievable cost to you and I. Here's a statue of the, ba of the Baphomet at the temple, satanic temple, complete with two little kids admiring it. That's J.K. Rowling's religion, Satanism. The secret religion for the highly evolved and the highly successful. Welcome to the real world. The same Masonic author writes in The Doctrine of Transcendental Magic, in the ceremonies practiced at reception by all secret societies, there are found indications of a doctrine which is everywhere carefully concealed, and that is witchcraft. And in his history of magic, he tells us it is the royal art. And that's what Freemasonry calls it. And where did he get his inspiration for the Baphomet? From the Knights Templar, another secret society who were banned. And some of its members were executed in the 1300s for glorifying evil, as it's openly stated here in the Satanic Rituals. And where do modern day Knights Templars reside now? Within high degree a Freemason, right here, again from the encyclopedia, and listen to this. The continuing impact of speculative Freemasonry, which means modern day Freemasonry, provided fertile soil in which new magical orders could grow. Magical orders, meaning other branches of secret societies, of which Freemasonry is the umbrella, because Freemasonry is the king of secret societies. Just like JFK tried to tell us, 
It's the prestigious channel that one must go through. And it is the reason that the oldest religion in the world has made a colossal comeback and is now on the brink of success, which, as I said, nothing can stop now. And again from the encyclopedia, the groups wear ritual garb and meet in ma magical lodges. And where do Masons meet? In the Masonic Lodge. Like here with a magical pentagram on their checkered floorboard. Are you believing your eyes or are you making excuses? Here's another statue of the Baphomet at a satanic temple doing the sign of the horned god Lucifer. The hand sign mimicking the horns on his head. And of course the upside down cross. And here's Barack Obama doing the same sign. And the sign of silence with a twist. Who do you think he's mocking here? You and I. But mainly Christians. Because Christianity is the one force that has stood between you and the inconceivable horror that is awaiting us and is on its way. Here's an article on Barack Obama. And that's his hands adjusting his presidential seal. And there's his Masonic ring. And the sign of the devil's horns. Over and over. Freemasonry and Satanism are intertwined. Look at these Masonic politicians throwing up the devil's horns. George W. Bush. Look how sneaky and sinister the look on his face is he. And the manner in which he's delivering the sign. In front of the whole world. Is he a fan of rock music? Is he saying I love you in sign language for the deaf, like some people like to say? This is his fraternal order called Skull and Bones, also known as the Order of Death. Where you lie naked in the coffin with what's called a temple prostitute during initiation. Clearly a Masonic order with this guy displaying the hidden hand of Freemasonry. In Stanley Kubrick's last movie before his death, he's telling you that all prominent members of industry, including politics, as the movie goes on to show, are members of a satanic secret society. In it, he shows the members engage in an orgy and feast after the ceremony of dedication to their horned god. To identify which secret society he's referring to, he leaves the clues in the artwork. Not once, not twice, but three times. The one-eyed religion. And who do you think the title of the movie is dedicated to? None other than the stupid, ignorant and uninitiated masses watching the movie. And you know it now. He knew that when we'd leave the cinema, we'd be commenting on the performance of Tom Cruise or giggling about the orgy scene or just being disappointed because the movie went too long or some other meaningless critique with eyes wide shut. Look at the cover of his other movie, A Clockwork Orange. The eye on top of the pyramid. And on his shirt, the word devil in Italian. Let me take it up a notch in case this isn't registering. Listen to the founder of the Satanic Church, Anton LaVey, tell us in his book, The Satanic Rituals, which is a companion to the Satanic Bible, Masonic orders have contained the most influential men in many governments, and virtually every occult order has many Masonic roots. This is back in 1972 he said this. Now 40 years later it should read all governments, not many. And why is the founder of the Church of Satan talking about Freemasonry, the most respectable and charitable fraternity in the world, that no one seems to talk about and that we never hear about in school? This is why. Because the Satanic ritual is a blend of Gnostic, Kabbalistic, Hermetic and Masonic elements. That's crazy because Freemasonry is a blend of Gnostic, Kabbalistic and Hermetic elements too. Any Masonic writer will confirm that. But how can that be? Because Freemasonry is Satanism in disguise. On page 106, every rite of the Black Order employed Masonic principles. Every rite of these Black Orders, one of which was called Freunden von Lucifer, which translates to Friends of Lucifer. And guess what? There are numerous manifestations of Satanism in Masonic ritual, including the goat, the coffin, and the death's head. Please awaken, O sleeper. 
and let the glorious light of the truth dawn upon your sleepy eyes. How did Freemasonry get away with this? Just like Jesus, the greatest enemy of theirs said they would, by dressing the wolves as sheep. A satanic underground, carefully cloaked in tr Christian trappings. That's how Freemasonry got away with it. We can't find out about it because they run the media and the education system clearly. John F. Kennedy was brutally assassinated after he attempted to inform us that we are opposed around the world by a monolithic conspiracy. Did he know that Lucifer was the god of Freemasonry? I don't know. The Grand Master of my lodge, who was the mayor of the city, was a 32nd degree Freemason. That's one short of the top. One short of the true beginning of the secret religion. And he had no idea what Freemasonry really was. After 42 years in the lodge, they never invited him into the 33rd degree initiation because he couldn't see past the Christian trappings as they were designed to do exactly that, trap the Christian or trap anyone else who was too sensitive to behold the truth. Thus, Freemasonry could halt their progress at any time without suspicion because it's a rare thing to reach the 33rd degree and every Freemason knows that. So that there are no rude awakenings that take place with those that aren't ready to embrace Lucifer as the true God of Freemasonry and the world. This is an ingenious system, birthed by what must have been demonic inspiration. Anton LaVey says that this ingenious system I speak of serves as a rudimentary screening process for organized Satanism. Exactly right. It's a filtering process, as I've said earlier, an international filtering process from which men and women are picked and permitted to enter the world stage. And I'm saying all this for those who are naively think that politics and magic ritual do not mix. That's the founder of the Satanic Church. He admits that. Admissions that were never heeded. Because no one cares. How else did the Freemasons pull the wool over our eyes? The companion to the Satanic Bible tells us that as well. By filling the world with fools. And who's the biggest fool in the eyes of Freemasonry? An atheist. From the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry. One who does not believe in the existence of God. Such a state of mind can only arise from the ignorance of stupidity. All this time, you're laughing at Christians and the Freemasons are laughing at you. Here's Brad Pitt wearing his Masonic ring and covering his eye. Now here's a genuine quote from Brad Pitt, the Freemason. In short, I could really try on something different for myself. That was Satanism. It's working out really well. I made a pact. That's why. You don't believe him? Bob Dylan does. And the hand sign they all do. Allow me to show you what it symbolizes. And now that you know what you know, it should make sense to you. It stands for 666. Yes, indeed. Satan's number foretold by Jesus Christ. Now just hang on, let me prove it to you. Here it is for all to see on this shirt design worn by Guns N' Roses guitarist Slash. See the eye in the middle of the six? Repeated three times. at 666. In this one, the design in the shirt is clearly demonstrated by the person wearing it. Another example, the hand sign with three sixes on the shirt. Here's a movie poster. The hand sign and the six on his lapel. Connect the dots. Here's Don Cheadle, the hand sign, and here he covers one eye with the dice. What's the number on the dice that he holds toward the camera? Six. There's literally three sixes that manifest in the hand sign itself, like this. That's why they do it. Here's Drake with the most obvious example, holding up the hand sign with the all-seeing eye of Lucifer on his bicep. And here, blatantly connecting the six to the hand sign on the artwork to one of his songs. The hand sign over one eye, 
obviously signifying a six. This is proof. The number is mystical and it's grounded in reality and it's related to sex rituals within witchcraft. You'll see, I'll show you. But if that's not enough, there. Drake is clearly intending that hand sign to be a way of communicating the number 666. A hater of Christianity and Jesus Christ. But I wonder why. He has everything he desires. Christians aren't suppressing him. He doesn't hate Buddha or Muhammad. None of them do. No, no. Jesus is who they hate. But they protect Freemasonry by communicating its presence in their lives, not by word, but by symbols and signs. Disciples of Lucifer. While you don't believe it, they take it very seriously. And they mock you by displaying it in your face. They know the truth. The chief commander, the one at the top of the pyramid, is Satan. The God of this world, just like Jesus told you who he is. Britney Spears doing the 666 over the eye. And look at this. The devil's horns while she wears the seal of the US one dollar bill. Designed by Freemasons. You know why now. You just have to stop denying it. Freemasonry is Satanism in disguise. This is how they tell you. Let's go to Britney's close friend. Whom she tongue kissed in front of the world. Sexualized as these people are. And for all the girls out there to be inspired and corrupted by. Madonna. Wearing the same Masonic design as Britney. Triple six hand sign. The one eye symbolism. And the vow of silence. The vow of silence with her fellow practitioner of witchcraft. The Masonic eye in the triangle behind her. And now. The upside down cross of Christ on her outfit. A member of the secret society who hates Jesus with a passion. As you can see here with Lucifer, the god of Freemasonry, giving her oral sex. Deep despisers of Christianity. Are you wondering why yet? The sign of the devil's horns here. Meaningfully placed and done with precise intent. Like with all of them. And here teaching her poor children to follow in her footsteps. Truly only God knows how many young people she's perverted in her career. All orchestrated by Freemasonry. Here's the founder of the Church of Satan again, Anton LaVey, showing the horn sign. The horned god of the witches, as illustrated by Una Woodruff in her book, Witches. And here, with a member of the Agora sect of Hinduism, partaking in a ritual of the oldest religion of the world. She's drinking blood here. From what? A human skull. Sound familiar? That's right. That's what all the high-level Freemasons do, except they use wine, until they themselves are invited into the secret religion. It's ritualistically done to gain magical abilities, not a myth. And look at a hand sign. It's also known as the El Diablo. You still think this hand sign is a joke, or it's misunderstood, or misrepresented by people like me? Look at the cover of Anton's other book called Satan Speaks. Look at the eye. He has one eye emphasized. Can you see? What about the image of Lucifer in the Satanic Temple? Look at the right eye. It's darkened. You ready for this? From the Bible. And this passage is thousands of years old. Woe to the worthless shepherd. His right arm shall be completely withered. And his right eye shall be utterly darkened. Where do you think this hatred for Jesus comes from? Do you think it's because we've outgrown it? Or because it speaks the truth? Who do you think this worthless shepherd with one eye darkened is? And who said, I am the good shepherd? Who said that? Jesus Christ is the good shepherd. Not the worthless shepherd with one eye. You think this is all just a coincidence? Just hang tight a little longer and you will see some wonder. Here's Anton LaVey with Freemason Marilyn Manson. And here's Marilyn covering his eye. In case you forgot that this is the eye of Freemasonry, the international religion they all belong to. 
Here he is, giving the sign of the master of the second veil, the hidden hand of Freemasonry, along with his Masonic ring. You know how many presidents and journalists and common men have tried to expose Freemasonry? Or get it shut down, get it banned? Well, those days are long gone. Marilyn Manson, the Freemason who tears the Bible into pieces on stage during his performances, he captured the fundamental purpose of Freemasonry's existence very well when he said in an interview with Spin Magazine in 1996, Hopefully I'll be remembered as the person who brought an end to Christianity. Echoing the dreams of grandeur, just like his spiritual father. Now Kesha, one eye symbolism of Freemasonry, the eye in the triangle, and the sign of silence. So she's a member. And behold, an inverted cross in her music video. Inverted cross on her outfit, and a satanic pentagram on this outfit. Just like the symbol of female Freemasonry. You think none of these Freemasons look like witches? Really? And none of these witches in the making? Remember, 90% of them don't know what they're serving, or what they're doing there, or why they're taking oaths of such silence and such penalty. Avril Lavigne does, showing her allegiance with the one-eye symbolism, participating in lesbianism in a video, influencing the masses, subtly stealing her innocence. And what's on her helmet? One eye, and doing the El Diablo with pentagrams at her concert. Anthony Bourdain with his one eye symbolism, he was openly a hater of Christianity. And what kind of woman would suit a man like this? Well, a fellow member of the secret society who hates Christianity too, of course. Asia Argento. One eye symbolism, again and again. The sign of Lucifer's horns, and this pose. Of his image. Remember the Baphomet. There's Asia mimicking its pose, complete with the finger position. Creatures with breasts and an erect penis and a goat's head. You know, things you find normal now, thanks to international Freemasonry, normalizing evil and filth through multiple levels of and avenues of propaganda and influence, including television, movies, music, music videos, Schools, education, through legislation, through passing of laws to protect the evil nature. And of course, through your favorite idols. Chris Hemsworth, just your everyday good Aussie bloke? I'm afraid not. One eye symbolism and the sign of silence. Both of which mean he's taken all the disgusting oaths of Freemasonry under the penalty of death thus catapulting him over the competition, never to promote Christian values or Jesus Christ again. The triple six hand sign, and now, see how the hand symbol makes sense? Amber Heard, who was married to this Freemason, who's best friends with this Freemason. I told you they only date, marry and associate with their secret society. Here with the triple six over one eye, and this tweet, I think it's a tweet, I don't know. Look at the one I closed, darkened if you will, and identifying its meaning with the devil's hand symbol. Of course, she camouflages the whole thing with her misdirecting words for the dumb masses. But we can see through that now, right? But look, it's Elon Musk replying. He's a fan of Amber Heard. Or is there more to it? Good sign, he says. The sign of the devil's horns. The fertility god. The sex god. That's what he's referring to. Why on earth would he point that out? You know why. But to be sure, let's go to his wife or girlfriend, Grimes. One eye. And whose eye is it? You know that too now. The god of this world. Who hates Jesus Christ just like she does. Two inverted crosses of Christ and the pentagram. And what about Elon's mother? Of course, all members of the secret society. Most of whom, most of us who never even knew it existed. Blink-182 initiated member with some of his secret brothers from the lodge. Vow of silence. Sign of the devil. Cindy Lauper, all seeing eye. Vow of silence. 
the sign of the God of this world. Christian Bale, who thanked Satan at an award show, doing the sign of the master of the second veil, the hidden hand of Freemasonry. Ashley Tisdale, all-seeing eye, social media post, and hanging out with her boyfriend, who proudly wears the satanic cross. Do you think they belong to the same religion? Of course they do. Bonnie Wright, one eye, and the satanic horns. John Cleese, I include him here because he's a well-known hater and mocker of Jesus Christ and Christianity. He got rich off it, and he's a proud Freemason, showing his allegiance. Motley Crue, Nikki Six, Tommy Lee, Vince Neil holding a cross upside down, and their album cover. Secretly Freemasons under oath, while promoting Satanism in the open, doing their job and influencing the masses to hate Jesus and Christianity, and to live a life of sin through seduction of their music. Secret Society member Jimi Hendrix hiding one eye and telling you about the secret powers of music. Nirvana, Kurt, bass player Chris, Dave Grohl, Dave and Jack Black making the sign of the pentagram, a geometric tool used in the magical curriculum, and Dave wearing his upside down cross. Hard to listen to all those beautiful songs he's written now. Courtney Love and her daughter glorifying the symbol of Satan, and Nirvana discovering something on a road trip while covering some numbers up. Proud Satanists, all secret Freemasons. Here's Quentin Tarantino. Now that we know what we know, can you see through this picture to reach its true meaning? The all-seeing eye, whose identity is revealed by the hand gesture, which is 666, with the vow of silence and throwing up the devil's horns, which I hope you can finally see means something. Share. Can this get any more obvious now? The sign of the vow of silence being made with the sign of the devil, telling you that the secret which isn't to be spoken of is Lucifer, right there in front of you. Speaking through signs and symbols, like Confucius said, signs and symbols rule the world, not words nor laws. Cardi B, I just want you to see a few connections between the one-eye symbolism, the triple six hand sign, and the horned god symbol. Eddie Izzard, all-seeing eye, hidden hand, and mimicking the horns of the Masonic God. Oh, but men love the darkness rather than light, as the scriptures put it so solemnly. Look at how precise that statement is. With high-ranking Freemasons loving the darkness so much that they define the darkness itself as light. Watch. In MasonicWorld.com, an article by Worshipful Master John Alexander who has journeyed from the lower degrees to the high and sublime degrees. This is the religion of our leaders and celebrities, so listen. He writes, Every ritual from the high and sublime degrees that I have ever read contains the statement, I beg you to observe that the light of a master mason is darkness visible. I put it to you, brethren, that this is the most accurate description of Masonic light that you will ever find. Think about what you just heard, because this is what they learn. Masonic light is darkness. And this is before they enter the real religion of Freemasonry, Satanism. That's why in the high degrees the ritual states to the candidate, I beg of you to observe, meaning to ponder, to contemplate what they mean by the statement. My 32nd degree grandmaster, he never understood. And they don't push you, remember? It's all a screening process to weed out the weaklings who can't handle the truth. The truth that... This is how the all-seeing eye sees things. Evil is good, and good is evil. Look at what he says immediately afterwards. In keeping with our normal Masonic practice of burying our important truths deeply, the ritual sets out to immediately disguise this truth. Usually people bury their lies, but Masons bury their truths. Because their truth is that God is the devil, and that we are in hell. So everything has to be flipped on its head in order for things to make sense in this place where lust creates life, where might is right, where compassion is weakness, and of course, in order to succeed. 
Look here, with another Freemason of the highest degree, Helena Blavatsky, she writes in her book, The Secret Doctrine. Doctrine means belief. So the book is called The Secret Belief. The Secret Belief of Freemasonry. She says, The sons of God, of whom Satan was one, all those spiritual beings were called angels of darkness because that darkness is absolute light. Do you see how far they go to protect and glorify the darkness? Because men love darkness rather than light. If these were just randoms next door or some minor cult, I wouldn't be telling you about them and I really wouldn't care this much. But these are not randoms. These are our heroes. These are those who have crept into the power structure very slowly since 1717 when the first Masonic Grand Lodge was organized to overthrow Christianity and the world. These are those who we admire, trust. And these are those who have perverted our culture with one hand, the hidden hand, while upholding it with the other hand. So you can never call them out because they're on charities, nursing homes and children's hospitals in the open while they propagate smut, violence, debt, and of course atheism in secret. While a plethora of everyday distractions are endlessly supplied to us through entertainment and news, plowing through our lives. That's political Freemasonry, politicizing everything, including entertainment. Supplying you with their heroes and their idols. And now that 95% of the world have been spiritually disarmed by thinking, oh, the world is a good place and Jesus is a myth, they've rigged our infrastructure and they're about to bring it down so they can build up their new world from the ashes. A completely new system of life on this planet is coming. I promise you that. In a book called Satan's Master Plan, LeVay affirms his commitment to destroy Christianity. Now check out Anton LeVay. Once again, in perfect parallel with Freemasonry, stating in the Satanic Bible, waiting at the darkness visible for that bright and morning star. Bright and morning star being a reference to Lucifer. The exact same expression as the Freemason and worshipful master, John Alexander, that we just heard describing Masonic light. Darkness visible. Identical language. Because Freemasonry is Satanism in disguise. This is what the initiated queen of Freemasonry, Helena Blavatsky, says of the bulk of Freemasons in her book. The knowledge of their members about the full signification of their symbols is nil. And that's of course true to the Freemasons listening. How do I know she's a Freemason? Because her diploma was reproduced on page 66 in Freemasonry Universal, Volume 5, Part 2, in the Autumn Equinox, 1929.